This video will show you how to design a biased heat exchanger using a multi-domain gyroid surface lattice. Here you can see the full design with the hot and cold fluid domains, and variables have also been defined to easily change the cell size of the lattice, the density or thickness of the heat transfer surface, the bias of the double lattice in case your fluids have different heat transfer coefficients, and finally the thickness of the baffles. To start, We'll need an outer shell, which will act as a manifold for the hot and cold fluid inlets and outlets, and a volume in which the heat transfer will be performed. We also need to define several variables to parameterize the design. We'll need a length variable for the cell size of the lattice, a unitless variable for the density of the lattice core, a unitless variable for the bias of the double lattice core, a unitless variable for the density of the first pair of lattice baffles using this equation, a unitless variable for the density of the second pair of lattice baffles using this equation, and finally, the length variable for the thickness of the baffles. The first step is to create two pairs of baffle volumes which will prevent the fluids from mixing at the inlets and outlets. Switch to the geometry ribbon and open the extrude tool. Select the first inlet surface and switch to a custom direction vector and reverse the direction so it is pointing into the volume. Assign the baffle thickness variable and accept the extrusion. Now, select the outlet face, assign the baffle thickness variable, and accept the extrusion. Repeat the process for the other outlet and inlet, and then close the extrude tool. You should now have four parts which represent the baffle volumes. Let's combine each pair into a single part using the combine tool. Simply select each pair and accept the combine operation. Time to design the lattice. Switch to the implicit modeling ribbon, select the core, and apply a surface lattice to it. Switch the surface type to double and assign the lattice density variable and the bias variables. Switch the cell size to absolute mode and assign the cell size variable and accept the lattice. Select the first pair of baffle volumes and apply another surface lattice. This will remain a single surface. Assign the single density variable, switch to absolute mode and assign the cell size variable. Select the second pair of baffle volumes and apply the final surface lattice. This will also remain a single surface, but make sure to invert the lattice. Assign the inverse density variable, switch to absolute mode, and assign the cell size variable. Open the combine tool and select the three lattice volumes to combine them into a single body. You now have a finished lattice heat exchanger core, which you can edit using the variables.